Fletcher is all about natural ingredients. I have very naturally sensitive skin, so I'm always looking for things that don't have fragrance, don't have color, don't have extra dyes. And her kitchen has become her beauty lab. I'm a mad scientist. <laughs> I try all of my own formulas on myself first. So Tamika is sharing some of her favorite beauty skin concoctions. First up, natural sunscreen, which she calls sunscreen cakes. Well, a sunscreen cake basically puts together all of those things that naturally protect you from the sun. You'll need a cup of coconut oil, a cup each of cocoa butter and beeswax, and two tablespoons of zinc oxide, which can usually be found in the diaper aisle or online. Mix all of your ingredients together in a Pyrex. I just use my microwave to melt the ingredients, maybe about five minutes or until they're fully melted. You want to pour the mixture into cupcake molds and let them set in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. To use, generously apply all over your skin. It's nice and creamy, huh? For tired, dry, cracked feet, how about this DIY foot scrub? Now we all know that it's time to put on sandals and so we want our feet to look nice, but pedicures can really add up. To start, you want to soak your feet in a mixture of warm water and milk for about 15 minutes. And to create your scrub, all you need to do is mix any essential oil and some sugar and then scrub it on your feet. You can use a pumice stone to help remove any excess dead skin. And get this, for extra rough feet, Tamika actually suggests using acne pads. The Stridex has salicylic acid that's great for softening dry dead skin. To lock in moisture, she says you can use diaper cream and cover with socks. Our final product is a natural bronzer. Tamika loves using Manoy oil. Manoy oil is a sacred oil to me because I use it so much in the products that we make at the salon. But it's such a great way to naturally bronze your skin. You can find Manoy oil online or at specialty shops for about $11. And the Manoy oil has a natural fat that really makes your skin shine and it makes it nice and soft and supple and a, a natural bronzer in the sun. Now it's important to note that while Tamika has tested these products on herself and her clients, it's not officially a scientific lab. These are homemade products and so the results may vary. You can get all the recipes by going to livewellnetwork.com and click on deals. Up next, from kitchen scraps to an incredible tasty dinner, we're giving leftovers new life when deals returns. Producing a show like Motion means we're always on the move. Taking real people to incredible destinations. Yes. Look at this. Places they might not ever see. Yes. yes. And finding the magic that happens when you get there. Look at this, Joy. It's the kind of reality TV show we're proud to make. Motion, a LiveWell Network original series. Check your local listings or click Choose Your City to find the LiveWell Network in your area. Uh, not looking forward to leftovers again? Well, let us show you how to turn them into something totally different and delicious. There's easy ways to incorporate those leftovers into something new. Meal Planning Magic's Brenda Thompson not only plans her family's meals, but she reinvents the scraps, including the bones. For instance, instead of pitching what's left of this rotisserie chicken... What I'm doing is just taking all the chicken off of the bones, and I can just save it for later and add it to my chicken broth when I'm ready to make my soup. Just throw it into a slow cooker or a stock pot. Add some carrots, celery, onions, garlic. Fill it up with water, maybe some salt and pepper. Put a lid on it. Cook for about six to eight hours on low. And those bones? Brenda freezes them and will use them another day to make homemade chicken stock. As for that old leftover bread from that dinner... To make breadcrumbs or even homemade croutons. Making your own homemade croutons is really easy. Top up the slices of bread into one inch cubes. Add a little bit of melted butter, garlic salt. Toss it together. Spread it out onto a baking pan and bake at about 250 degrees for about 20 minutes, stirring every so often until it's the Christmas that you like. The croutons you can keep in a dry, dark location such as your pantry for about a week. When you have leftover bread, you can also use it to make homemade breadcrumbs. Just toss your stale bread into a food processor, pulse for a few times, 
toss those breadcrumbs into a zip bag. Keep them in your freezer and they'll last for a couple months. Left with an assortment of meal remnants, don't worry. Pull out the skillet and whip up a batch of fried rice. For fried rice, it's really easy because it doesn't matter how many of each ingredient you have. You can use what you've got and make it um, different every time. In your pan, you want to add a little bit of oil. One egg, scrambled up a little bit. Brown rice. I'm going to use pork tenderloin. A leftover bag of mixed vegetables. A tablespoon of soy sauce. Combine the ingredients. Since everything's already cooked, really all you need to do is just heat it through until you're ready to eat it. Now, when you get to the bottom of condiments like mustard and ketchup, Brenda says never toss it. You can still get plenty of good use out of it. The first is going to be a marinade using that leftover ketchup. Just add the ingredients for the marinade to the bottle. You can just shake it up and use it that way. Add equal parts of soy sauce, white wine, add a couple of tablespoons of peeled fresh ginger that's minced and also a clove of garlic that's been minced. Shake it to combine and you've got a marinade that you can pour over any kind of meat. It's really good on beef. Turn your dwindling mustard into a tangy vinaigrette. Throw all your ingredients into a leftover mustard container. Today we have about a quarter cup leftover of mustard. We're going to add another quarter cup of vinegar. You can use any type of vinegar that you like. Half a cup of olive oil and salt and pepper to taste. Just shake it up and then just pour it over your salad. Can't get much cheaper than that. Creative ways to make over your leftovers. In the United States, about 40% of all food that is produced is wasted. We can prevent a lot of that by using our leftovers to the fullest, and that saves us money. To print out these recipes, go to our website, livewellnetwork.com, and type in leftover recipes. That'll do it for this edition of Deals. What's your deal? We always want to hear your money-saving ideas, and you can talk to us anytime online. Until next time, I'm Kat Cosley. We want you to keep on saving money.